I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We'll discuss an application of sine law. We need to derive a equals to b cos c plus c cos b for any triangle ABC. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's make an, a triangle here, any triangle ABC. Okay. The sides for what is this ABC will be written as lowercase ABC. That is standard. So when we say a equals to b cos c plus c cos b, that means we're talking about a triangle ABC with vertices a capital B and capital C and sides opposite to them as lowercase a, b and c. Now how do we derive it? Well, we know sine law relates the angles with the sides. So we could always write in any triangle sine of a over a equals to sine of b over b and equals to sine of c over c. We can take this as a constant k. In that case, individually, we could write sine a as a times a constant, right? So we could from here write what is sine a equals to? Sine a is equals to a times constant. Similarly, sine b is equals to b times constant and sine c will be equal to c times a constant. So these relations we get from the sine law. We'll need to relate the angles with the sides using these relations. Now, let's get back to our equation. We need to prove A equals to B cos C plus C cos B. Well, that gives us an idea. We could actually start with what is sine of A. In any triangle, total sum is 180 degrees. So we could write this as sine of 180 degrees minus sum of B and C, right? So that is how we can write sine A. Now sine of 180 minus theta is basically equal to sine of theta. So this is equal to sine of B plus C, right? This we know from the rule that sine of 180 minus theta is equal to sine theta. Now we can apply the compound angle formula. Sine B plus C means sine B cos C plus cos B sine C. Now if you look at what we derived from sine law, sine A is A times a constant. So I can replace this sine A with A times a constant. So I could write this as A times some constant equals to sine B is B times a constant. So B times a constant. We have cos C here plus cos B. And sine C is C times a constant K. So that means k's, the constants can cancel, right? So we could write this as a equals to b cos c plus c cos b. I mean, right? So this c cos b. So that is how you could actually derive the particular expression, right? So we get what was required, which is a equals to b cos c plus C cos B. Do you see how it can easily be derived from this sine law? So the trick here is to write any one of these angles, since we, we are saying A equals to, so angle A as 180 minus the sum of other two to get the expression. Perfect. So that is how I could do it. I hope you understand and appreciate the derivation. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. We'll actually take a few more examples relating to 
sign law application in this particular playlist and i hope you will really enjoy thanks for watching and all the best